Hey everyone, it's Kenji, and today I'm gonna to make some beef chow fun. So, I've got here the ingredients ready. Um, so these are hor fun noodles. These are rice noodles. Um, it's sometimes hard to find them fresh. Even I have difficulty finding them fresh here in the Bay Area. Um, I managed to find them refrigerated uh, at the Chinese market, um, fr refrigerated in packages, which is not the best way to get them. The best is to get them fresh made daily, which when I lived in New York, I could get that. But um, when they're refrigerated, all you gotta do is, I put what I do is I pour boiling water over them, let them sit for about two minutes and break them up, rinse them in cold water, and then I toss them with just a little bit of oil. Um, if you can't find fresh horfun noodles, you can use dried, wide rice, rice stick noodles, like the same kind you would use for um, pad thai, but as wide as you can get them. And those, all you do is soak them in boiling water uh, for a couple minutes, drain them, uh, and then they should be good to go in a dish like this. You might have to add a little bit of extra water while you're stir frying. Otherwise, I've got um, some onion, some bean sprouts, this is about three scallions. I've got uh, minced garlic, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, shaoxing wine, and then this is beef. Uh, this is uh, actually sirloin flap that I sliced thinly and is marinated with um, baking soda, uh, a little bit of light and dark soy sauce, a little bit of shaoxing wine, and a touch of um, cornstarch. So this is about, say, it's about six ounces of beef, um, and in there there's a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, um, a teaspoon each of uh, both soy sauces, um, about a teaspoon of shushing wine, and maybe a half teaspoon of um, uh, cornstarch. And I had this marinating in the fridge overnight, but about 15 minutes is good. All right, you ready? This is pretty fast. So this is on an outdoor setup. Sometime I'll show you how you do this, um, how you would do this on an indoor setup. But beef chow fun is one of those dishes that really relies a lot on. Um, well, okay, on that smokiness, which is why it's great for an outdoor setup like this on a powerful burner. So we're gonna start with quite a bit of oil. This is just rice bran oil. <clears throat> so the beef is basically deep fried first. Okay, I'm gonna wipe out my wok with some paper towels. If you have a bamboo thing, you can use that too. I'm just using paper towels because I'm outdoors and I don't really have running water out here. And get a little bit more oil in that pan. Tablespoon or so. High heat. And now our noodles go in. Now the key with chow fun noodles is that just like Italian pasta, you know, you don't want to, um, you don't want to break them up. So if you can stir fry them like this, stir them, great. Toss them, I mean, um, but if you can't, um, you just want to go under with a spatula and carefully flip them over and over. You don't want to really um, break them up into smaller pieces. That's why that stirring, uh, sorry, tossing like this is, is sort of essential for this dish. And you can see it's getting in that flame in the back and the flames are licking into the pan. That's what we're looking for. A little bit of dark soy, a little bit of light soy around the edges of the pan so that it quickly evaporates off. There we go, and we're looking for that kind of singed, singed look there, okay? So now the noodles are gonna come out.
a little bit more oil. And finally, our aromatics and vegetables. So onions, minced garlic, scallions, bean sprouts. Okay. Everything back in. A little dash of white pepper. A little dash of MSG. Don't have to use MSG if you don't want to, but I'm using it. And then just a touch more dark light soy sauce and a little splash of wine. That, that is that. You know, so beef chow fun like this, um, some people add oyster sauce, some people add uh, fermented black beans. That is all perfectly fine to do. Um, today I wanted to keep it a little simple because I really wanted to emphasize that sort of smokiness that you get from the from the wok. Mm. Also, I wish these noodles, noodles were a bit wider, but you know, you work with what you got. So that bacon soda in the beef, that's the secret to super tender beef at Chinese restaurants. It tenderizes the meat and keeps it juicy. Oh man, this is good. All right. All right, everyone. Beef chow fun done on a high end or high output, not high end, high output wok. Delicious. All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.